one. So yeah, this is how I set up my bandeau planner. It's the large Florabunda, and I'm really sorry that I can't fit it all in right now. It's just the way I have my camera set up at the moment. But yeah, if you can see here. Um, okay, so I started this week off. I've almost, well, I've pretty much finished it now. I've just got to add some finishing touches to it. But um, yeah, so you can see here, I've um, already done the writing, and then I put in all the stickers. I chose the um, colour scheme, basically, show you. So I have a pack of these fine liners and these colours earlier um, last week were like standing out to me and um, I'm not really into wintry colours for um, an autumn colours at the moment. It's probably something to do with the weather we're having here because it's like an Indian summer so I'm still really really heavily into all these summery colours. Um, so yeah, I had these, and then I was drawn to um, gold, this gold washi tape, um, the little bee tape here, and I knew I had to include that as well. Then I had the um, stickers by Simple Stories, the I Am range, and I've been basically using these as part of um, my affirmations and sort of like self, like self affirmations and you know, we don't really encourage ourselves um, too much and we're always putting ourselves down. Um, so, well I am anyway, so I, I used to do it a lot. So now I want to include that in my journaling, um, the positive, you know. So today I was going to put, I am, because they have lo loads of different ones, I think it was, I am enough. Um, but then I decided um, to use the I am grateful because it had more meaning for me this week. So yeah. Um, I need to stick down as well using some glue the little bee tape because it doesn't stick very well at all so I'll just add some glue to this and then I shall stick it down there a little bit better because if you can see here it just it's just peeling it comes off so easily so I need to glue that down um, yeah so my band is getting well starting to get a little chunky now because see these pages here they're all filled um, so what I want to show you now is basically right how I do everything. But I'm going to um, have my bando work, work with it this way because I have the how the have the camera set up. Um, it's easier for me to write like this, um, film like this. So anyway, the pencil that I use for doing this because I write with a fine, very fine nib. Um, I use. Hang on. For the writing I use this one and it's the 0 0.1 that's for all my writing if I want to do um, any writing which is a little thicker I'll just use the 0 0.3 one um, for the outlines because I like to work in pencil first I use a really fine one and the mechanical pens pencils sorry work really well for this because they're really fine I don't know if that will zoom in but I think you know you know the ones that I mean um, there. Yep, so what I do is, so for the banner, I eyeball it. I basically just, because I'm using a pencil, I don't really have to worry about mistakes. I can just rub it out if I make any. And that's why I use a pencil, because I can space everything out. And if I make a mistake, I can just rub it out. Um, you can't do that with these, because they're like the, the, they've got the pigment ink. Um, so yeah, and then I do this bit next to sort of like gauge how big this bit's going to be. So, that there. I literally, um, I just basically, I use this time, um, it's quite therapeutic, and I don't worry about it at all, I just enjoy it, I enjoy the process. I don't worry about getting everything all neat and straight. And it always comes together in the end and I'm really happy with it and that's the most important thing as long as I'm happy with it. There, like that and yeah that's fine. So then what I'll do is I'll go over that in the pen. And it's so nice to work with. Actually, I'm using a 0 0.1. Sorry, what I do, this happens to me sometimes. 
so there's the 0 0.3 I used the thicker one for the uh, for the banner and I really don't worry about it being straight or anything at all I just go with it so um, yeah once I've gone over this in the ink I will rub out the pencil but um, obviously I'm going to wait for the ink to dry and I usually do all that later on that's that and then um, here I decide I normally have washi tape and because of the theme sort of theme I'm going for these colors um, you know I don't obviously if I see something else then I will go for something else but I'm just really drawn to these I went into my washi stash, which I'll show you actually, I'll go and get it. Right, see this box here? It's huge, so you won't, I won't be able to fit it on the camera. I'll open it. And this is um, most of my washi supply. I do have others dotted around. So I'll go through this stash and pick a few colors. So I picked, out these, I just picked a handful out and I think what I'll do is I'll go for this colour here and put that up there. I then picked out a couple of stickers um, and I really wanted to use this weekend one. I'll link below where I got all these stickers from but this one is available, um, it's Little Hedgehog Pretties I think. Um, so yeah, I'll link below where I got these stickers from. and. Uh, yeah, so the ones that I really wanted to use, I put in place after I line. But line, what I do is I get the metal ruler, this one, and I turn it over that way so it's flush with the paper. And then I'll mark out in pencil. So here, I wanted to put here um, the appointment time for the hairdressers. So. Um, Again, I don't worry about how big the space is. I just eyeball it each time and then I'll put drawing the lines and then I'll put in the um, whatever I want to write in pencil. So because I've already done that in pencil, I'm just going to go over it in pen. Um, again, I use the 0.1 because it's nice and fine for me. Then I just go over it and I don't really um, worry too much about it being um, like I, I do want it to be neat but I don't um, stress over it at all just take my time so how I um, basically approach this is I read one day that anything that we practice, see look there, I just went wrong. Um, anything, when it comes to our handwriting, like we want to practice doodles and like neat handwriting and stuff. Um, usually, with um, from what I've learned, people will say you want to get your own unique style. So use your own handwriting, but experiment with all these different styles with your own handwriting. You'll come out with something unique to you. Then one day I read, because um, my writing's really, really small, I'll show you what it, my normal handwriting is. I like to use, if I can find it, it might not be in this one, but I like to use a biro, and it's, it's like a um, thick biro, it's really cheap. This one. Get some paper. This one, because it's really fine. And then, um, so my normal writing would be, um, okay, so I'll just write October, and it's, this is just me rushing, October, it's really, really small, and the um, tutorial that I heard, they said just to use your own handwriting, but stretch it and make it narrower. So that's how I came to write like this. I've kind of just experimented. I um, to get it really neat. I would draw lines on the paper because obviously the on here 
um, it's all plain, there, there aren't any pre-drawn lines, so I would mark it out, uh, not worry too much about um, it all being the same height. And then I just started to just really make my uh, each letter narrower um, and just stre stretch it out. And basically, this I just started to write like this. If I show you at the beginning of the um, the diary, the planner, sorry, um, you'll probably see that it was slightly different because it's progressed. It's sort of um, evolved over time. So uh, yeah, and I've just practiced with um, different styles. And that's how I really started to write like this. Because um, I've been practicing doodles as well. Um, so I'll show you. Okay. So in these books, um, I've been practicing like doodle flowers. Um, I think this one I didn't use pencil first, I just would use, I went straight with the pen and then I would watercolour and this was like for my own, there's some more there, yeah this was for my own like enjoyment really um, and to practice using watercolours as well. We might have a look here, yeah so this one would be like to practice um, my scrapbook. Here as well, like a little junk journal, just experimenting with colours and things. Yeah, so um, I also have a, another book, um, I haven't got it on me right now, and that's what I use to practice my um, styles of handwriting, like different doodle styles. The book that really encouraged me was, I've got it. this one, this one, The Art of Whimsical Lettering, and Joanne Sharp, she basically, um, she says, she gives you like different styles to practice, but you have to really, um, it's not so much copying, it's more about using your own style, your own handwriting, and then experimenting with these. So I got a book, plain book, and just started to experiment with all these different um, ways of writing. There. And it looks overwhelming, I mean there's a lot of pages here and then you see obviously more stuff online as well and you feel a bit overwhelmed, you don't really know where to start. So what I did was I chose um, in this book the uh, one I was most drawn to which was, actually on the cover I love that there, I think it's more um, that I'm drawn to like the doodle typewriting. So I started to practice this one first. And I didn't overwhelm myself, I just gave myself um, one to practice and then I, um, yeah, I just stayed with that for a little while and then I would take another one and then practice that one in my own time. And I just, um, as soon as it became a chore for me, I would stop and I would move on to something else and do something differently. Oops, I hear the dogs barking outside, probably the postman. So yeah, so... Um, Basically, that's how I do the writing. Then once that's all filled in, what I would do is I would rub out the um, pencil marks like this because then obviously um, I would know after that, wobbling the camera, um, the space that I have to work with for stickers and washi and everything on here as well. Actually, uh, use this one. These bits I just fill in. So I have a bunch of stickers. I have a big box of them um, and they're all dotted around everywhere. But at the moment, like I said, I'm using mainly these uh, again, the um, I Am Range by Simple Stories. I'm also using um, like these as well. Can't remember, like here as well, who they're by. But I'll um, 
yeah I'll put it in the text box here somewhere there yeah so I'll have also like little stickers lying around and then what happens is once I've put all like the big stickers in like done this page here if I see there's gaps which um, before I put the um, little deer here and there's a flower you can just see it here um, I you know these areas and the butterfly as well it, they were quite bare so I just played around with the stickers a little bit and positioned everything and threw some more in um, like I would normally have a pack of stickers which would be um, just for the sole reason of filling in the gaps so like I would have little hearts or like these are perfect here these ones like they fill in all the big gaps but I don't just throw them in I put what's relevant so uh, yeah so here's National Coffee Day and I put the coffee here a little cup here it's probably hot chocolate but you know it's um, still it's quite relevant uh, yeah so I shall finish off this page um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed it if you have any more questions just put a comment below and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible okay bye